Welcome back to a Munchausen's Proxy, where Mickey Mouse has been liberated. Well, not quite yet. 95 years ago, in 1928, Walt Disney first let the world share his creation in a little animated short called Steamboat Willie, in which Mickey Mouse is a worker on a steamboat. Along the way, the story introduces Pete, the captain, and Minnie Mouse, who runs to catch the boat. This seven-minute-plus cartoon would help launch what would eventually grow to become the world's entertainment juggernaut, the Walt Disney Company. From that humble beginning would come an empire that was synonymous with children's and family entertainment for several decades. Animated movies, live-action kid movies, family movies, television shows, television networks, Streaming services, amusement parks, cruise lines, comic books, music, and merchandise for all of it grew the company that took Hollywood by the throat and sat on the throne as king of the entertainment world. Disney got so big that it could buy out animation competitors like Pixar and use its money and power to buy into the older boys' and men's entertainment sphere in purchasing Lucasfilm, purveyors of such hits as Star Wars and Indiana Jones, and Marvel purveyors of comic books and the nascent Marvel Cinematic Universe. And when Hollywood lost its mind and decided to commit seppuku, they had the economic might to waste billions and billions of dollars on creating their own streaming service from scratch. And it was all started with an anthropomorphized mouse driving a steamboat and whistling. While Disney is rather competently dismantling that empire I mentioned earlier, It seems rather apropos that the very symbol of that empire, Mickey Mouse, is finally being freed from the rather tight grip the Walt Disney Company has held him in for decades. For many, many years, the Walt Disney Company has paid through the nose for lobbyists and politicians and lawyers in order to keep Mickey Mouse's intellectual property protection in law, the copyright for Steamboat Willie, out of the public domain. Why, if it was allowed to lapse into the public domain, any peasant could use it for their monetary gain without paying tribute to the house of the mouse. Alas, just as another run at extending that very copyright protection a little longer would ramp up, the activist employees at Disney forced the company's hand and got them involved in a heated political debate over sexualizing kids in schools in Florida. By entering Disney into the middle of the debate over keeping teachers from discussing sex of any kind with elementary school kids, they galvanized an opposition to the power of Disney, including the extension of the copyright protection for Steamboat Willie. So with the new year comes the lapse of Steamboat Willie's copyright protection. This means that anyone can use the original design of Mickey Mouse as depicted in the 1928 short. This means that nobody can use any form of Mickey not shown in that cartoon, however, including any vocals associated with Mickey Mouse, since Steamboat Willie was from the era of silent film. Mickey, Minnie, and Pete never talk in the film. There's music, sound effects, and laughing from the characters, but no words. In the past, Disney has been notoriously protective of its copyrights, suing multiple times, often against small mom and pop businesses who cross the House of the Mouse by using their iconic characters without getting the mouse's permission, which they never would have given because Disney does not allow anyone in on their rackets. Next year, such suits will probably explode as people who do not understand how copyright works think they can just willy-nilly use Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse as they please. And instead of using the 1928 Steamboat Willie design, which would be perfectly legal, they will use more modern designs and open themselves up to more suits. A copyright lapse occurred last year when Winnie the Pooh's copyright protection ended and the lovable, honey-swilling bear became public domain. Almost immediately, a Winnie the Pooh horror movie began production. So three things will happen next year. A huge uptick in people using Mickey Mouse however they please. Disney, 
suing the people using Mickey Mouse however they please without realizing only Steamboat Willie Mickey is fair game. And there will be a Mickey Mouse horror movie upcoming, probably from the same sickos who came up with Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Why am I so sure about that last one? Because Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey cost a measly 100000 to make and made $5.2 million at the box office. That is all I have for you this video. If you like what I do here, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and comment down below. It helps the channel and is much appreciated. Until next time. Choose.